Hello everybody, my name is Achara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play series. We are currently making an update to the ball engine, which is my sports game engine, obviously. Um, we're going to be making a new Luchara hockey game. But I think before I do that, I'm going to make... I mean, this game need, it needs to be tech level 7. The last Luchara hockey game was tech level 7 because it was exclusive to the Luchara Station 2. Um, because I want to make one more tech level 6 game. I want to squeeze one more out on these consoles that have sold a combined 727 million units, right? Um, but I, I feel like it would be wrong to go backwards with the tech level in, in a series. And I don't know if the game would recognize that, but, you know, my conscience will not allow me to do that. Also, over in my secondary room, we are making an add-on for Karate Master 4. Um... I'm not sure what kind of game I want to make. Tech level six before we chair hockey. Let's see. Um, let's take a look at what our options are. All right. So we got some bonus sound points for Karate Master 4. Because a music star, friend of an employee, has composed a free soundtrack for your current game. Nice. So fighting games are popular right now. That's going to be the case for a full year, 52 weeks. But I mean, I just put out a fighting game. How long ago? Karate Master 4. But I think that was like the last, that was the last actual game I made, right? It's been nothing but add-ons since then. So we're, we can't do another fighting game right now. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. So what's reasonably popular right now and isn't super saturated? Preferably. Not much. Like nothing is 80%. Platformer at 79 is the most popular other than fighting game. So, I mean, I guess I could do a platformer, right? It would make sense to some degree. Yeah, let's make a platformer. Tech level six platformer. I'm going to assume, I'm going to check. I'm not going to assume. <laughs> not going to assume. Let's make sure the platform engine has the best tech level six stuff. I'm pretty sure it does because it has tech le some tech level seven. Well, let's just make sure it has the best tech level six stuff. If we're going to make one more tech level six stuff. One more tech level six game. Let's make sure it has the best stuff, which it does. So the question is, do we want to make another Dragon Rider game? Which is my five star IP platformer. Haven't made one lately. Or do I want to do a, a new IP? You know what? Let's do a new IP. Why not? I feel like I've just I've just pounded the same IPs over and over and over again. I kind of just want to do a new IP. Just for fun. Just for funsies. So, platformer. Topic. Um, let's just, um, let's do the obvious thing. Where are we at here? Where's, um, where's Plumber? Super Luchera Brothers. Coming in hot. Here we go. Super Luchera Bros. Be the best platform that ever platformed. All right, Jump Engine, multi-platform game. Chair Pocket Advance, Chair Station 2. Super Luchera Box. Let's throw it on the Mac as well. Just because we are reaching 999.9 .9 billion people. Is that the actual math or does it just stop going up at that point? We have 404 and 326, that's um, 731 and one and 101. Yeah, so it just stops there because, yeah, it's actually like 1.4 or whatever, 1.04, something like that. Anyway, it's definitely over. <laughs> that's the important thing. All right, so tech level six. This is going to officially be my last tech level six game. All right, so let's get all these sliders where they're supposed to be. Not sure why it didn't, oh, I guess it didn't default because this is a new IP. If you're doing a sequel, it remembers sliders from before. I'm pretty sure 25 is all good here. But for whatever reason, it seems like we never get as much in technical. So let's just bump our technical up a little smidgen. A smidgen, right? Smidgen is a funny word. It just sounds weird to my mouth. Sounds weird in my ears, in my mouth. Okay, doesn't matter, whatever. Smidgen is not important. 
Um, what are we going to update here? Free update for Land of the Candy Rockets? Sure. My MMOs are doing well. Well, my free-to-play game has made a profit of $1.4 billion. My accidental MMO that I don't care about, it is not doing well. It has lost me $47 million. My actual MMOs I do care about, though, have 6.9 and 12.2 million subscribers, respectively. So they're doing quite well. Thank you very much. All right, so let's mark it. Super Lucero Bros. All right, new IP. But I think even if it sells like, you know, 100 million copies or whatever, I don't think it'll gain that much IP value. I think IP value, like, for the first few games in an IP, can only gain so much. Could be wrong. But I mean, if you look, I got Candy Crash 10. So, 100 million maybe is possible sales because Candy Crash 10 has sold 88.2 million and it's still selling 655,000 a week. All right, so Karate Master 4. It's ready to go. Let's just do a uh, pre release with the press here. Chop Master. And then we will send that out. We lost some hype, so let's rehype that back up. Get that back to 100. All right, we got no research to do. All right, pre release with press worked. Airplanes versus Aliens 5 off the market. 61.1 million sales. 1.5 billion in profit. Not bad. Not. <laughs> I'm joking. It's way better than not bad. All right, give add on to a publisher. This is a fighting game. Do we have a five market strength fighting game publisher? No, there's only one publisher with a fighting game fan base. Crystal Dynamo. And there are only three stars. Well, you know what, then? Let's just uh, upgrade them to five stars. Simple. <laughs> Problem solved, right? Boom. And boom. Oh, and somebody asked in the comment on um, my last video how to, how to remove games off the market. You just click on the box here, distribution options. Remove game from market, remove console from market. They're just right there. Just because somebody asked. I figured I would make sure they knew if they're actually watching this video, which I hope they're. And if you are watching this video and enjoying it, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. All right. So, Cry Master 4, Chop Master. Good to go. 90, 92%. Fancy. All right. So now, Super Little Chair Bros put all our people on this all right so sound team is in training where are they at over here let's grab them put them back over here and i believe not graphics but i think the um yeah my mocap team is also or the majority of my mocap team i should say is in training so let's move them back perfect Man, Candy Crash 10, it's got a real chance at 100 million sales. Just a couple episodes ago, I was trying to get a game to 50 million in sales. <laughs> now we're just getting 100 million, you know, without, I was going to say without really trying, but I was really pushing. Oh, oh, what do we got here? New memory card and a new sound chip, graphics chip. Ooh, tech level eight. It's just weird to get a tech level seven and a tech level eight thing at the same time. Okay, so this is for handhelds. So once we have this, all we need is a screen and we'll be able to make a tech level seven handheld. Which is interesting. All right, um, free update for Karate Master. And then we'll update the paid up add-on. All right, and over here, let's update our MMOs and our free to play game just with a normal update like there's a normal update and then there's a free to play game update and the free to play game update is way more expensive like way more we'll do one of those eventually but not right this second that is not the priority how's the old server capacity oh yeah 40 percent only 37 million people playing my games right now just quote unquote only 
That's like my consoles. Holy crap, so many sales of my consoles. It's insane. Super little chair box is really starting to fall though. Ooh, we got more tech too. That'd be tech level eight stuff. So just waiting for the screen. And we'll be able to make a handheld, which will be nice. All right, update for Karate Master. Chop Master. Master of Z Chop. One terabyte hard disk. Nice. All right, so update for Candy Crash Online. Where are you at, Candy Crash Online? Right there. 26th update for Candy Crash Online. That's a lot of updates. A lot of updates. Wait. Did we not just get... Oh, wait. We did not... Okay, so we still need... So it was a memory card that we just got for the handheld. So we still need this and the screen. Or wait, one of these must be... Not this one, obviously. The one terabyte hard disk to be for stationary consoles. But the other one... 120... Eh? 120 gigabyte HD DVD. That does not sound like a handheld thing, <laughs> right? All right, so only 70 to 90 estimated score. That's that's pretty disappointing. <laughs> I guess they still have stuff to do. They still have stuff to do. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be higher. It'll be higher. But we are going to overhype it. I might regret this. I might regret this overhype. And let's do a free update for NeverQuest 2. Beautiful. When's the last time the MMOs have had ad paid add-ons? Uh, NeverQuest 2, 30 weeks ago. Candy Crash Online, 46 weeks ago. All right, so once this is done, we'll do a add-on for Candy Crash Online. Here, let's do an update for... Another one for the pay-to-win game, sure. People are paying to win, so $2.3 billion in profits on that game. That's kind of ridiculous, man. It's kind of ridiculous. Man. <laughs> People love paying. I mean, look, I have $55 billion in the bank. I don't really care about making money at this point. But it's interesting. It's very interesting. All right, so somebody suggested I name I name the next add-on Milk Chocolate Ogres. I have no idea what that is. I hope that's not some kind of weird innuendo <laughs> that's meant to be, you know what I mean? Did I just get tricked into getting, <laughs> getting myself into trouble? I hope not. All right, so let's um, market the add-on. So is, it, is everybody polishing now? They're polishing. They're not polishing. Nope. Still got work to do. Is it up to 80 to 100%? It is not. It's still not 80 to 100%. I guess it is our first plumber game, right? We do have that going against us. <laughs> Ooh, Candy Crash Online needs some hype. What about NeverQuest 2? Yes, man. I'm slacking on these games. NeverQuest Strategy, we do not care about you in any way, shape, or form. Yet, yeah, once this um, Tech Level 6 game comes out... Oh, 200% chance that Legends apply. We do not care about Legends right now. Alright, so what are we looking at for consoles here? For handheld. We got Tech Level 8 stuff here. We got... Yeah, yeah, no, just... We got all this new console tech, but none of it is for... We are no closer to getting handheld. Right? There's tech level 8 stuff. We still don't have a tech level 7 handheld. Which is weird to me. But, yeah, the Super Chair Box, once this game's out, we're probably going to pull that from the market. It's starting to struggle. Alright, so we are polishing all around the horn. Um, Alright, let's mark it. Game Crash Online, Never Quest 2. Yeah, so that gave them a nice little like, boost. We don't really need to advertise them anymore. Do an update for Karate Master. Is it over 10 million sales yet? Probably. 
Candy Crush 10 is not going to reach 100 million sales. I mean, it took a little a real run at it though. Oh yeah, well, 12 million. This is an exclusive, right? So, all right. Please tell me this is 80 to 100. Still only 70 to 90. Huh. I mean, I expect it'll be closer to 90, right? Like I just, I can probably, oh, I did not mean to pick that up, of course. I could just send it out, I guess. Yeah, how's the old stationary console look here? Yeah, tech level eight, 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 eight. We're literally a processor away from having a tech level eight stationary console. I guess that's not unusual to get that before level seven handheld. I think that's happened before at a couple of different tech levels. So I guess I'm not sure why I'm acting like it's such a big surprise because it's really not. All right, so let's self-distribute this. Yeah, I'm expecting it to be at least 90%. I'm hoping. Only 90% though. Oh, it is only tech level six. Got to keep that in mind. That's pretty old tech, right? That's probably factored into that. All right, so let's polish this add on a little bit here. Where we ship that out, give that a little, give that a little shine. Take some furniture polish to that, shine it up real nice. Then, we share a hockey, 19 or 20. Probably, we'll get this out in 2019, so we'll call this a chair hockey 19. For computer and game consoles. We're gonna make a quadruple A, even if it doesn't need to be quadruple A, just because. And we got chair station two, PC, uh, Macintosh, dev kits. Is there any Decent tech level seven consoles out there, user wise. No, there is most definitely not. <laughs> so, the Y box and it's 22 million people, it is. Yeah. All right, so we got new graphics that we've never used before high end open world 3D graphics. The sound we are pros with. The physics and AI we are almost pros with. We will be pros at that momentarily. It's good here. I'm going to crank that up an extra and turn that down. It's based off of that last game. Turn on everything here. Okay, 53. So it needed to be quadruple A anyway, unless I wanted to cut features, which I didn't. I mean, I'm not including in-app purchases, but I feel dirty having a, a, a free-to-play pay-to-win game as it is. I am not adding in-app purchases to, to non-free-to-play games. In-app purchases to play games i can stomach but if i'm charging retail price for a game <laughs> oh there's a case for handheld eight it's too bad we can't make even a handheld seven yet ironically all right so let's market the chair hockey 19. all right so how is super chair bro selling 1.6 million pretty good like having a, a nice strong ip is good but it's not necessary for a good game i've noticed right so let's update that game keep that going strong how's this coming okay it's almost done so let's do a pre release for the press and then um then we will switch everybody over to making the chair hockey the best it can be just got to uh, get those bugs gone, which will not take long. All right, so we got an eight core extreme CPU. So tech level eight console, which is fine because we're pulling our tech level six one off the market momentarily, right? All right, so let's give this add on to a publisher. Puzzle games are down near the bottom. Facial recognition, getting better with recognizing faces. Only 87%, but that is fine. It has a similar problem that um, my last game did in that it's like it's old tech, 
right? Like Candy Crush Online came out like, well, that's like what, 14 years ago, <laughs> right? So God, what is it? Probably tech level five game. Maybe tech level six at best, probably tech level five, right? So you're kind of working with, right? You need high quality materials to make a beautiful piece of art, right? And we're working with some pretty old stanky <laughs> materials, right? All right, so let's do an update for, let's do the free to play update for pay to win. So 32 million or 31.9 million make that, but it'll, it'll make it popular. All right, so what needs a boost here? Into the candy rockets? Sure. Let's give that a little kick in the pants. Let's see if this, uh, Update helps Super Luchera Bros any. And then let's do Chop Master. Keep that going strong. Yeah, Super Luchera Bros is selling pretty well for a game that had no IP value. But I mean, we learned that whenever we did, um, oh, what game was it? Luchera Cricket? Which is still in the top 10 best selling games of all time. But at the time, this game was like, I think it was number one. For a stretch right and i was like oh maybe ip value isn't that important then because this had no ip value right and it's easy to say well everything else on this list is good ips that's true <laughs> but it's because everything i make is a sequel at this point right all right so we got nothing to look at there yep still still can't make the handheld I can make attack level eight. Stationary though. Is it time? I mean, I am. I am. I, I said I was going to pull this off the market. So I might as well. Hmm, I'm just. Yeah, let, you know what? Let's do it. Um, so this will be just. Luchair Station 3, I guess. Just to make it easy on myself. <laughs> no, if I don't go back and capitalize that, it'll bother me every time I look at it in the future. Okay, so we got the level 8 case. Let's include four, include four controllers. Let's throw in Candy Crash 10. I mean, it's already the best selling game of all time, but it must be good then, right? Let's remember to click this box because there has been times in the past where I forgot to click that box. <laughs> um, backwards compatible with a bunch of my old consoles. 765 and where's level 4? Right there, the old Lucera box. Um, what color? Let's make this like red. Yeah. yeah. We haven't had a red one lately. We got blue, we got green, we got gray. Enable all the features there. All right, I feel like, I don't think I forgot anything here. So our next game after Luchera Hockey will have to be for that console for sure. Right, gotta get some games for it. Although, I mean, it's backwards compatible, so it has access to all those old games, right? But it would still be nice. All right, so the console is gonna need some marketing. So let's get that going. My uh, my support teams are not keeping up <laughs> with the demand, um, but I I mean I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Like where? I guess I could clean it, clear out one of these training rooms and put in an extra support room. Other than that, I don't know. I don't know how to get more support. I mean, I guess I could stop self-producing games. Right? Like, I don't need to self produce games in theory. I mean, it's extra money, but I mean, I have $58 billion, right? <laughs> I can afford to not self produce. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Um, free update for. All right, let's, well, let's look at this here. Let's sort this by release date. Up chocolate ogres, sure. 
since that's new ish. All right, so they're already polishing. Super Bowl Chair Bros, best graphics, best soundtrack, publisher of the year, game of the year. Not developer of the year, though. I didn't make enough games. I was doing too many add ons last year. Graphics teams on their last thing, sound teams on their last thing, QA is on their last thing. 80 to 100, that's good, considering it's still not even like done. Okay, this add ons off the market made a cool half a bill. Um, let's do some special marketing pre release stuff for Blue Chair Hockey. Overhype and a pre release for the press. Looks good. And then we'll uh, send that send that out once everybody's done and had a little a little polishing time. All right, so graphics is polishing, UA is polishing, and sounds polishing. All right, so we'll give them. Oh, I should have said twenty because it's did not make it out <laughs> in the year. Yes, yeah, Super Chair Bros is doing really well still. Maybe do another one for that. Yeah, I think so. My console's selling right now in the holiday season. Super Bowl chair box is still selling like crap. So it is time. RIP Super Bowl chair box. You sold 332, almost 333 million, which is insane. And that was a good console. That's a good console. All right, we're gonna need an EverQuest to add on soon. Um, yeah, let's let's polish chair hockey till the end of the week here. Boom! Ooh, highly advanced AI. That is tech level eight. Our first tech level eight thing. And let's finish development here. Self distribution. Overhype work for this, so this might be. This might sell really well, although yeah, it's see, it's not reaching all the people that Candy Crash 10 reached and um, what's my call it reached. Candy Crash 10 came off the market. Eh? Yeah, it did. Super Chair Bros. Like that's already that's selling really well. OK, so it's a it's 1.2 IP value off a single game. So my theory about IP value may have been wrong. That's fine. I'm okay with being wrong from time to time. 98%. Gotta like that. All right. And you know what? I believe that will be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.